I would like to thank uh, the NCC for inviting me to this event, uh, which is very important to talk about the blended finance to finance development projects, whether in Egypt and, uh, and everywhere around the world. Uh, today, I would like to showcase our SE Zone, uh, presenting our uh, facilities, uh, incentives, services that we provide, sectors that we are targeting, and what we have done regarding uh, protecting the environment inside the SE Zone as well through signing the protocol with the Ministry of Environment Affairs to support companies working inside the SE Zone to move to be uh, green projects. In addition to that, currently we are thinking about having green ports under the SE Zone as well. The total area of the SE Zone is 455 square kilometers. We have six main ports. We have 14 industrial developers. These 14 industrial developers are from the private sector. That's we are very keen to cooperate with the private sector in developing these the areas that we are manage, managing inside the SE Zone. We have more than 300 companies working inside the SE Zone, whether from the southern areas or the northern areas. If you see at this map, these are the main areas that we have, West Port Said, East Port Said. Uh, I mean, we have as well the, these ports in, in West and East Port Said. Uh, we have three main uh, ports in the northern side, West and East Port Said, as well as the Larish port. And, ad and uh, adjacent to the East Port Said port, we have an industrial zone, which is a very big industrial zone called East Port Said zone, industrial zone. There we have one developer, uh, Esports side development company uh, headed, I mean, managed by Karim Sami Saad. Uh, in that area, we are focusing on certain industries like automotive uh, industry and its feedings, feeding industries as well. Uh, uh, I will come to these, I mean, uh, in, uh, areas and in, uh, industry areas and ports in details about ha having, I mean, uh, the, the, the total area and the facilities that you have in the coming slides. But this is very important to you that we are starting in this area. Sokhna port and the Sokhna industrial zone, reaching out, I mean, the northern side having these areas connecting, I mean, both and uh, uh, east and west banks. Uh, yeah. East and west banks by having three tunnels connecting uh, both sides as well. We have a very strategic location because that, you know, we are surrounding the Suez Canal corridor. We have 12% I mean, of the international trade passing through the Suez Canal to a corridor. Last year, 20,000 ships passed through the Suez Canal corridor as well. We are well, well connected, whether inside, I mean, uh, the country or outside the country, as you see in this map. I told you about that. We have three tunnels uh, east. I mean, one in Port Said, the other one in Smalaya, the third one in, in Suez. These, uh, these tunnels are connecting both sides, the, the east side or on the west side. Uh, you see, I mean, uh, uh, the, the, blue, uh, uh, the blue lines, these are uh, the roads that are, are connecting the areas inside the scene with other cities inside Egypt. Uh, we are about 40 minutes from the new admin capital, one hour from Cairo. Uh, in Sokhna, we are from uh, Smalaya, 30 minutes from Smalaya, uh, uh, 30 minutes from, uh, from Suez, and one hour from Smalaya, as well as one hour, uh, two hours from Port Said. This is very important because this is very important to any companies working inside the SA Zone. They are well connected to the ports, as well as to the industrial parks. So uh, it's very important when you have these ports to enable the business environment inside uh, the SA Zone. In addition to that, we invested much as well in the infrastructure, I will show uh, how much we invest in that very soon. Companies working inside this soon, I mean, inside this season, I mean, they are enjoying, I mean, the trade agreements that we have in Egypt because they are connected to more than three billion people living in these trade agreements areas, whether in, in, in Europe with the, with, under the, the EU partnership agreement, uh, the QIZ, Mercosur, and uh, Comesa as well, in addition to GAFTA. We have four industrial zones, as I said. The, the most important one and the biggest one is Sokhna Industrial Zone. We have 13 industrial developers inside that area. Uh, most of them are in the private sector. They are gaining the, these lands to develop, attract investments, and helping the SE Zone uh, increasing the investment that's inside, in, inside that area, in addition to 
maximize the exports to uh, the international markets. The total area of the industrial zone in Sokhna is 186 square kilometers. As you see in the map here in, in, in the corner here, you will see in Sokhna port, it's very close. It's about just five minutes from the, the industrial park. We have more than uh, 270 companies inside, in the, inside that area. The, most, the second most important uh, industrial zone is the East Port Side Industrial Zone. The total area of that uh, uh, industrial zone is 64 square, square kilometers. We have more than 10 companies working in that area because it's very newly established in that, that industrial zone. And uh, uh, the soil in that area needs a special treatment. That's why it takes uh, time, I mean, to make it very uh, 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 attractive when you, when you, when you develop uh, uh, the area in that, in that, in that, in that, in that site. These two industrial parks, uh, the first one in El Smalay, I mean, this is on the west bank of uh, Suez Canal, the other one on the east one. Here in the, uh, uh, East Ismailia, we have that area is specialized for heavy industries and uh, ICT sectors. Uh, these uh, these uh, two areas hasn't uh, haven't been developed before, but currently we are upon. I mean, uh, 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 the interest of the country to develop these this, these two areas. Currently, we are focusing on, on attracting some some companies to work in that area because n none of the companies have entered these uh, these uh, areas. For the, last, uh, for the last year. Currently, we are focusing on attracting investment to this area in, in, in East Ismailia. Currently, we are working with an iron complex in that area. We'll use, I mean, the renewable and the green hydrogen to produce the, their products, moving to green uh, economy in that area. Uh, that project is uh, uh, investment uh, cost will, uh, will be around uh, six. 110 million USD in that area. This is the first project in that area, and this will, uh, will attract more investment to that area when this happens. In East and uh, West Kantara, I mean West Smalaya, we are focusing on this uh, uh, small and medium sized companies in that area, mainly in the textiles and the agribusiness. Currently, we have uh, requests from many companies. We are studying these uh, requests to have them uh, uh, being invested in that area. Uh, most of them in the textiles industry. Uh, Egyptians and Chinese will be uh, investing in this, in, in, in this area very soon. Regarding the ports, I will just uh, focus on two ports, two main ports, Sokhna ports and East Port Side ports, because they are uh, uh, the most important ones that helping investors to get, I mean, their, their imports from outside or even get their uh, exports to go to the international markets from these ports. Sokhna ports uh, has been witnessing huge developments, as you see on the, on the, uh, on the slide. Uh, this black one here, this is, I mean, the operational one. That one is currently operating in that area, and, and in the plan that we are expanding and developing the whole areas, adding more bas basins and uh, tournaments that yet to be managed and to be uh, 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 presented to many, many investors in the logistics site. The total area of that port is uh, 25 square kilometers. The length of the water in that area is 18 meters, which that enable big ships to come and uh, uh, be in that area, uh, working in that area. We added more than five square kilometers as new logistical area to that port. In addition to that, under the new development, new projects that is being developed by the Minister of Transport, I mean the high-speed railway will be connect, connecting that area to other areas inside Egypt, to the new Alamein and the new admin capital. This high-speed railway will be finalized by the end of the coming year, by the way. East Port Said, which is the second important port that we rely on in, uh, in our developments and uh, attracting investors to that area. We have uh, well-known branded companies working in that port. I mean, AP Monor Maersk is managing the port with uh, Purple One, and they are expanding very soon because of the, I mean, uh, the huge, the huge request that he has, he has had in the, in, in the last years. The total area of that port is 
uh, 9.5 square kilometers. We are adding uh, five kilometer length new keys in that area. The depth in that port is 18 meter. Uh, and we added 27 square kilometer logistical areas to that port as well, adjacent to that port. As you see here, I see here. These are the new logistical areas that we added, this one and this one and this one. And on, on the southern side, we have a biggest industrial park that I told you about, the East Port Said one. This uh, area is very promising. We are receiving many requests on that area because of the companies that they are attracting the European markets. It's, it's very important to them to be there, not to be in, in Sokhna as well, because they will use the port directly and its facility. This one is a new one has been developed by us, and this one currently uh, uh, serving the cement industry that uh, they are located in Sinai Peninsula. We have many investors working in the cement industry in, in Sinai. That's why they are this, this important, very important them to get their exports out to the international market. What we have done starting 2015 till now, we started to review our uh, regulations and laws in that area starting in uh, 2015. Uh, to make the business, envi business environment inside the ASEAN is attractive and simple to investors. Then we moved to enable the environment by investing in the infrastructure. And we invested in the infrastructure more than 3 billion till now, USD. Why, why, why we did that? We want to localize industries in that area. This to uh, decrease the gap between imports and exports, and this is very important to us and to attract more FDI and increase the exports of the country. The strategic pillars that we rely on, the ecosystem that we provide, the regulatory framework as well, the cost positioning regarding the labor cost, shipping cost, utilities cost, as well as the energy prices that is currently competitive to other areas around the world in addition to the financial incentives that we provide as well. As I told you, we invested more than three billion. Currently, in, in Sokhna ports, in addition to this figure, we uh, uh, invested more than two billion in developing Sokhna ports only as well. We invested that uh, figure in enhancing the natural gas inside the networks inside the SC zone, communication networks as well, regarding the fiber optics cables and other power plants as well as sewage plants and water supply as well. These are samples from the infrastructure that we developed, the incentives. This is very important to an investor when come to the season to talk, us, to, to talk about, I mean, investment opportunities inside the season. We provide zero custom tax to any investor investing inside the season. But this, when you enter your produce to the local market, you only pay, for, only pay for the imported things only. In addition to that, we provide zero value, ta value added tax on all products. But when you enter your produce to the local market, your clients pay the value, the value added tax. As we considered under category A of the investment law, we enjoy 50% tax refund, uh, uh, corporate tax refunded to any investments inside the AC zone, but this, this is le uh, limited to two conditions. The first one, you should not exceed 80% of the patent capital. In addition to that, I mean, this is applied to seven years after production. We also give 100% foreign, uh, uh, foreign ownership uh, allowed inside the AC zone. You are you, you are free to own 100% of the company. Your company is an Egyptian, but I mean, it's allowed to have your 100% uh, of the shares inside and ownership inside the, inside the company. Also, we provide five years residency permit to foreign investors. In addition to that, we also grant for companies having labor intensive, I mean, uh, 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 labor intensive uh, projects, we give them uh, more, more incentives uh, in that area when they exceed 5,000 people working inside the company. Also, we managed to have our own guide, that unified guide for companies working inside this season to use, I mean, the trade 
uh, uh, procedures, whether imports or exports. They, we have unified procedures, unified guide. They can use it and apply it. Currently, we are automating the process of, of trade inside this room from port to the logistics area, then to the, to the factory and the vice versa. And this will be ended by the end of this year. You will use the mobile application to trace your produce, I mean, raw materials from the, the ports to the factory or your produce to get out uh, to the markets. In addition to that, I mean, inside the SC zone, all manufacturing companies are enjoying uh, the export subsidy program. Uh, uh, if you just, if you went to any uh, free zone inside Egypt, you will get 50% of the percentage allocated for uh, export subsidy. But inside this, you get 100% of that percentage. As I told you that you are dealing with one entity in getting the land, the incorporation process, the permits regarding building permits and operational permits, so you don't need to deal with any other entity inside the AC zone. You just go to the one-stop shop and get your approvals inside upon certain procedures. And this is being automated currently with the EBRD, and this process will, will get the first uh, phase being automated, I mean, in, in, in the coming uh, four months. It will have the soft opening of the automation process in, 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 in uh, July or August, but uh, will be very soon. Here are the sectors that we are targeting. As you heard about the green hydrogen, we allocated uh, 30 kilometers, square kilometers inside the Sokhna, uh, Sokhna area for green uh, uh, hydrogen production. We signed more than 23 uh, MOU, MOUs with many companies from local market, regional market, and international markets as well to produce green hydrogen and green ammonia. This is very important because we are talking about the new energy that is being applied in the market with the local market, regional market, international market is very important. Currently, upon the uh, uh, the high prices that happened after the Russian-Ukrainian uh, crisis, I mean, the energy prices is, are getting high, the labor costs are getting high. That's why many companies, they are thinking about how to replace the old energy with the, the new energy. Let's, let's, let's talk about Maersk. Maersk, they have uh, a vision about uh, fueling their ships passing through all the canals uh, around the world with uh, green fuel. If you have this green hydrogen hub in the, in the Sokhna ports, they will use that and getting these few, uh, ships fueled by inside, inside the season, which is very important. The feeding industry is related to the green hydrogen, whether uh, the electrolyzers that is a very important component in this industry, as well as the wind turbines, because the European market, they want, they want it green. Green, I mean, produce the green, uh, uh, green hydrogen from green resources. That's why, I mean, renewable energy is very important from wind turbines or solar, uh, uh, solar PV is very important. And we consider these products, uh, these uh, sectors very important to us. But these sectors uh, will be outside the AC zone in cooperation with electricity and moving this, this uh, uh, energy inside to, inside to, to the AC zone through the national grid. The most important thing that the, the Ministry of Electricity is working on, determining the tariff of moving, uh, transferring the electricity from the renewable plants to the factories, and this will happen very soon. I think they will end their study by the coming July. Other sectors that we target, petrochemicals, water distillation, membranes, automotive, automotive rolling stocks, electric batteries, car tires, casting and foundry, uh, building materials, pharmaceutical, active pharma ingredients, medical equipment, textile, and agribusiness. In addition to that, we are very interested in the vocational training as well. That's we have, why we have Siemens like, uh, Academy in Sokhna. In addition to that, Sweden uh, currently is uh, uh, building a new facility regarding uh, training and vocational and maintenance centers for the green hydrogen uh, sector. And also, this will be in Sokhna as well. This is the pilot project that President Sisi opened last COP27. Uh, the first, I mean, the, the total capacity of that project is 100 megawatt green hydrogen. Currently, is, it's, it's built uh, with the capacity of 15 megawatts and hope they will reach their capacity by the end of the coming year. 
This project is in cooperation between SCATIC, uh, so the Sovereign Fund of Egypt, and Forty Glo Forty Globe. Here I mentioned before regarding the MOUs that we signed before COP27. Nine of them have been transferred into uh, framework agreements. The total uh, expected investment of these nine framework, uh, framework agreements, 85 billion uh, USD. The capacity of these nine framework agreements will be 15 million tons per year. We are waiting to get, I mean, the other 10 uh, uh, framework agreements being transferred very soon and to project, I mean, within the coming uh, few months. Uh, these are the companies that we signed them use with them, Acme, Actis, Aquapar, Alcazar, Benchmark, British Petroleum, Dai from Germany, Energy, of, uh, Energy China, and uh, many companies signed them using this. And we are waiting eight to nine companies to sign them use very soon with different companies from uh, uh, different areas around the world as well. You see the green area in that one, this is, uh, has been allocated for the green hydrogen uh, companies that will work in that, that area. We have two slots in, or three slots in the eSports side as well because this is upon special request from the companies that we want to re-export their produce to the European market. If you see this is Sokna port and the area around, if you see that uh, blue uh, line from green area to the port, this will be the utility corridor using, I mean, uh, pipes from these companies to be, get their produce to the uh, tanks farm, the yellow one, moving them out through a terminal to uh, the international markets. I mean, this is the, the model that we have in our mind regarding green hydrogen. We have things outside the AC zone regarding the renewable energy, then the production itself inside the AC zone. Regarding what we have done for the making the environment sustainable. Currently, we have a plan to transfer ports to be green ports, and this is in cooperation with the Ministry of Environment. We have an initiative called EPAP. Uh, under the Ministry of Environment, we signed a protocol with them to help companies, whether inside the industrial zones, to be green and to apply energy sufficiency, sufficiency, sufficiency procedures. So, uh, I mean, the total uh, fund for that protocol is around 250 million allocated for uh, these projects to benefit from moving them from industries to be green in the coming future. Thank you. بشكر ابراهيم دكتور ابراهيم مصطفى جدا على الصوره الواضحه اللي قدمها لنا وبنقترح دلوقتي لو حد من سيادتكم يحب يتوجه يجيب اي سؤال ليتس ستارت ويز جيم ثانك يو فيري ماتش فور ذا برزنتيشن فور ماني اوف اس اوت سايد اوف ايجيبت اي نيفر ابريشيتد ذا سويس كانال انتل يو هاد ذات ايفر جرين تانكر ذات جوت ستاك دو يو ريمبر ذات ات واز تو ييرز اجو سمثينج لايك ذات so the, the effect on all of the shipment around the world that was affected by that blockage for 17 days, I want to say, was fascinating. How many? Evergreen. Evergreen. Yeah, it was the Evergreen tanker. And so all these ships backed up, had to decide whether they were going to go all the way around the Cape of Good Hope and the African continent or wait. And the amount of cost that they incurred either direction was huge. So I make that comment because it relates to my earlier comment about the investor in, in Ivory Coast. It makes a huge difference where you locate your factories and the efficiency you have to move your product in and out. So this, that whole Suez Canal and all your zones around it are a huge competitive advantage for the economy. So I have a question. Can you tell us a little bit about what happened with that tanker, the insider story, number one? Number two, um, how much of the production inside the zone comes from outside of the zone that has supply chains that feed uh, raw materials or intermediate product that then gets finally processed inside the zone and exported? And does that benefit the outside supply chain? And three, 
Can you think of any particular risks that new investors or existing investors might have or difficulty in getting financing, working capital or debt financing or equity financing that we should be thinking about in working together with you to identify those investors and de-risk their investment. That would be a blended finance related issue. And it could be outside production that feeds into the uh, economic zone that, that attracts more investors because they need the throughput of raw materials or intermediate product. Thank you. First, let's me distinguish between the Swiss Canal Authority and the Special Economic Zone Authority. Yes, we are very close to each other, coordinating, I mean, regarding things regarding the passage, I mean, the corridor. But what happened regarding the Evergreen, the Swiss Canal Authority uh, made great efforts and uh, well-branded thing that time when they uh, tried to make things getting smooth, smoothly passing through the canal in that area. And this, as you said, affected, I mean, uh, all the ships was, uh, the ships were, uh, were planning to go through the, the Swiss Canal and moving and try, trying to change their routes outside the Swiss Canal that, at that time. And they got much cost to make it happen. Yes, we are very competitive in that area. We are uh, currently make it more competitive by adding some service, services to that area by having the bankering services two slots in the, nor in the north side, I mean in Port Said as well, and in Sokhna we will provide uh, ships passing through the Swiss Canal in, uh, next month with, with the fuels. In the past they were going to Pujira to fuel the ships. Currently they will use the facility very soon, I mean the coming month. It's very, comp I mean, the location is very competitive regarding whether investments and other uh, uh, logistics uh, projects that thinking or existing in the market or other projects that they are considering being in the market in that area. So we are having many requests from the European market as well from the industry sector. They are complaining from the energy prices they are getting high in, in Europe. They want to recur their businesses to Egypt to re-benefit again from the European market. They want to export again to the European market. The best location for them, which is very closest to the European market, is the Suez Canal Authority, mainly in the export side as well. In addition to that, you mentioned about the lending finance, or the finance facility that you provide. Yes, we have some challenges in the, in, in the market for companies are not using the model that we use, 70% export, 30% local market. We have some companies using much percentage in the, in the local market, having their produce to the local market more than 50%. I mean, this affected their revenues from the USD. Yep, I have, we have this problem. But we're trying in coordination with the banks to try to help them getting, I mean, things uh, smoother. And we are thinking about financing tools outside from outside the, the zone and outside the banks, from uh, equity funds and other funds around the world to help them getting uh, uh, co-invested in, 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 in their companies if they have a room for that, or financing their, I mean, exports or imports from outside when they have take-off agreements with the international markets. So we have also uh, this facility and we're providing this to our companies. As I mentioned uh, as well regarding the initiatives or the grants or the loans, I mean, uh, with uh, special interest like EPAP, they have grants and loans with special interest. We use these initiatives to help companies to go green as well, to uh, make their energy usage very efficient, uh, more, uh, reducing the pollution in that area, and moving the ports themselves to being green. Currently, we are talking with one of the Greek companies. They are using renewable and waste management, they are using the ship's waste, collecting them from the ships through boats to certain areas to recycle and manage these wastes and making money from that. This project is in coordination between our entity, the Swiss Canal Authority as well, and the company. So we are moving uh, a bit well regarding moving to green economy, but it takes time. Did I answer all the questions? I want to story like this. The Canal is a project that started in the name of the Pharaoh. And when it started in the name of the Pharaoh, it was the name of the Pharaoh. It was the name of the 
فرانك فرنساوي والشركه افلست مرتين في سنه 1862 و 1879 لكن اصبحت بعد ذلك اغنى شركه بحريه في هذا الوقت واللي عايز اقول لكم لما الشركه عملت كان 20 كيلو يمين وشمال القناة ملك للشركة واللي رجعهم ملكية لمصر كان الخديوي اسماعيل فحصر شركة قناة السويس في قناة السويس من غير الأراضي اليمين والشمال وده كان إنجاز مهم في وقتها واستدانت مصر عشان تدفع التمن ده at that time يعني سؤال لحضرتك التحدي اللي قدامكم بالمشاريع اللي بنسمع بيها على القنوات اللي رايحة لإسرائيل كبديل لقناة السويس ده حقيقة ولا مش حقيقة السؤال الثاني أنا ستيل لما بفتح الانترنت وأقول فيجن and ميشن of سويس كانال بلاقيها أن السفن تعدي بسرعة وترانسبورت وتوينج للسفن ما بشوفش الجانب الاقتصادي الرهيب اللي هو مفروض اصل المشروع دلوقتي فيعني تهيالي ان احنا محتاجين نشتغل في الحته دي احنا كهيئه قناه السويس او هيئه الاقتصاد قناه السويس حاليا من تارجت انفستمنتس ان ديفرنت سيكتورز في قطاعات محدده احنا محددينها عارفين عايزين ايه عندنا تارجت او فيجن محدد تجاه المنطقه ان احنا هب لافريكا والميدل ايست بنشتغل على الكلام ده، مش على الكلام ده ازاي؟ ايه القطاعات اللي تساعدنا في الكلام ده؟ انا مركز قطاعيا وقطاعيا صناعه ولوجيستكس. ما باخدش اي قطاعات ثانيه اخرى. لان انا محتاج الصناعه عشان ازود التشغيل، ازود صادرات. في نفس الوقت الاف دي اي يخش عشان اعلي الاف دي اي الهارد كونس اللي موجوده في البلد. طيب. بعمل ايه تاني؟ بحسن بيئه الاستثمار من ناحيه وده جانب. اثنين عندي استراتيجي للترويج. وحاليا بعمل لها تطوير او انهانسمنت مع احد الشركات العالميه عشان تساعدني هاو تو لوك ذا نور رايت ويتش سيكتورز ويتش كومبانيز اند هاو ذس از فيري امبورتنت جيتنج اي مين ويل نون بيبل ان ذات ريجارد مالتي ناشونالز ويل براندد تو هيلب مي ان ذات ريجارد يس وي نو هاو تو ميك ات بت وي شود هاف اي مين فولو ذا نيو تولز ذات از بينج ابلايد اراوند ذا وورلد واي ايجيبت نوت ساو اي مين واي ايجيبت ذس از فيري امبورتنت تو انسر ذس كويشن يو هاف ماني كومبيتيتورز اراوند از يو سيد عندك منافسين ليك حواليك السعوديه تركيا المغرب جنوب افريقيا في الريجن بس عندك اس زونز في العالم كله ثاني موجوده فايه اللي يخليه النهارده يجي مصر ما يروحش السعوديه ايه الحاجه اللي عندي الميزه الزياده عن السعوديه او المغرب انا هدي له ايه ده اللي احنا مش عارفين دلوقتي خدت بال حضرتك ورغم كده رغم التحديات اللي موجوده حواليا واكبر تحدي بالنسبه لي زي ما اتحرك المنافسه الشديده اللي حواليك كله عايز يستقطب استثمارات هيروح السعوديه بدي له مثلا ارض بالمجان بدي له 5% ضرايب بدي له مش عارف تعالى صندوق الاستثمارات العامه يدي له 2.5% تمويل دي حاجات بالنسبه لك فيري كومبيتيتيف ده يو هاف تو ثينك هاو تو ميت ذيس تشالنجز هتقدم ايه تاني للمستثمر طب هو ايه الميزه عندك لو هو خد الحاجات دي يسيب الحاجات دي ويجي لك كمان. نبص بقى للشيبنج كوست. هيصدر فين؟ فلو هيصدر لاوروبا انا اقرب لاوروبا فالشيبنج كوست قلت. طب ايه تاني عندي؟ انا ارخص في العماله. خدت بال حضرتك؟ بدي انسنتس تانيه مش ظاهره له على ارض الواقع. يعني الشركات اللي بتشتغل في الـ في الـ في, في اداره المواني عندي ساعات بدي لها تخفيض على رسوم الارشاد وحاجات تانيه واخرى واخرى واخرى. عشان يفضل مكمل عندي. انا عندي ميرسك، عندي تويوتا تسوشو، ما بتدير عندي رصيف رورو في شارع بورسعيد. ابي مور ميرسك دلوقتي احيانا بتتوسع، توسع ليه؟ ما هي ممكن تسيب مصر وتروح. عشان بتعمل مارجن بروفيت عالي نتيجه الانسنتفز اللي احنا بنديها من تحت. فاحنا وي ار ستاديينج ذا كومبيتيف ماركتس اراوند تو بي فيري او تو كيب فيري كومبيتيف. ذس از فيري امبورتنت تو اس. كويس في حاجات انيبلرز ومكنات ليك 
موجوده حواليك زي الانفراستراكشر زي الممر زي 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 تمام بس هو عايز حاجه برضه يبص عليها فيها الانفستمنت كوست بتاعته الاوبريشن كوست بتاعته عامله ازاي انا هنتج بكام وهبيع بكام طب انا في الاخر البرو بتاعي هيبقى فيري كومباتيتف لما اطلعه بره في الماركت ولا في اللوكال ماركت فاحنا بنشتغل على الحته دي برضه من ناحيه ثانيه انا عارف دكتور ابراهيم لازم يمشي لكن احنا شغلتنا كتنافسيه الحقيقه احنا ايه البوليسي ادفوكسي ده ممكن نعملها انا كنت متخيل اولا المنطقه دي لازم تبقى 10 اضعاف الحجم بتاعها حاليا ايه اللي احنا ممكن نساعد فيه كبوليسي ادفوكسي عشان نساعدكم في حق... ايه المشاكل اللي عندكم مع الحكومه مثلا او مع السياسات اللي ممكن نغيرها او ندعمها عشان نساعدكم آه زي ما قلت لحضرتك الحمد لله من الـ من الكومبتيتيف انجلز اللي احنا مش عارفين او البيلرز اللي احنا عارفين الليجل فريم ورك احنا حاليا فتره فتره رجعناه وبالسيل بنراجعه فدي برضو لو في انبوتس من ناحيه ثانيه عايزين تبصوا عليها ريجاردنج كومبتيتيف ايوه لوز اند ريجوليشنز اراوند ذا وورلد ذس از فيري امبورتنت تو اس وي هاف ذس اي مين ان ذا تاسك وذ ذا كونسلتنت اي مين يو كان جيت اذر فيوز ريجاردنج ذس وي وي ار ويلكم ذات يعني ريجاردنج ذا ريجوليتري فريم ورك ات شود بي فيري كومبتيتيف وي ار ويلكم ان ذات كارنتلي وذ 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 جلوبال كونسلتنت از اي سيد اتس وان اوف ذا ايتمز ذات دي شود كفر We can listen to other views regarding this. If you have something that in, in your uh, reports, on your studies that can help us in that regard, we, we welcome that actually. <laughs>